David, welcome. Thank you welcome. for being here. CTO yeah. of CyReport. And, and I have to ask, I was here seven years ago, eight years ago. Yep. So much has changed. Can you explain what has caused this incredible explosion of, of entrepreneurship in Hong Kong in the past 10 years? Well, I think uh, we, we have been uh, observing, uh, you know, a, a big changes uh, around the globe, you yeah. know, especially in this region. Mm. I think internet overall has been helping, uh, and especially the mobile internet. Uh, I think Hong Kong, after all, is uh, so great in terms of investment in infrastructure, and um, and then uh, people are very uh, tech savvy, you know, generally. And then I think uh, we have a lot of good school in, in within the region, and it actually uh, creates such a platform uh, for a lot of different player, and then try to leveraging on this great internet infrastructure, and perhaps they can. Uh, launching the product, mm -hmm. you know, day one to be a global company. So mm -hmm. that's that's uh, very uh, yeah. um, you know exciting. And, and 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 people like to draw these comparisons between Singapore and Hong Kong and this place and that place. But do you feel that Hong Kong can actually be this sort of Asian hub for entrepreneurship? And and how would that play out over, over the next few years? Well, I think you know geographically, you know, Singapore and Hong Kong, you know, perhaps Singapore is more in Southeast Asia uh, region mm -hmm. and maybe Hong Kong is more on the northern, uh, uh, you know, be, be part of China or Greater China play. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of population, I'm sure, you know, uh, China, China and India, you know, is <laughs> you add it up, you know, it's a very, very uh, promising market. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think Hong Kong has this advantage uh, by, you know, very uh, closer to the North Asia market and uh, mm -hmm. leveraging on again the internet infrastructure in this region and can can tap into the very close uh, you know the market as well, as well as uh, you know the global scene you yeah. know uh, United States or even Europe you yeah. know from the, from day one for startups. But let's talk let's talk about transformation for a minute. The what pieces of Hong Kong are evolving to make the city more receptive to entrepreneurship? Because to, to roll back, you can always say that Hong Kong has been an entrepreneurial city, right? Sure, sure, I mean, look sure. at the real estate, look at the logistics, manufacturing, sure, whatnot. Sure. What is changing, though, in that makeup? Well, I think the, the, I would say the tipping point, perhaps, is the financial crisis, the latest mm. financial crisis. I, I can see that, you know, uh, 2008, 2009, you know, I, um, after, after the crisis, we're seeing a lot of so-called ex-banker mm -hmm. or someone who, who is wanting to join the financial in industry and kind of uh, have a second thought. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is not, a, you know, an office choice for career or as, as a, as a, you know, mm -hmm. investment. Uh, uh, so, so people, I've seen a, quite a number of them has been uh, studying very good school and trying to do startup, mm. you know. So, so that's that's really the I think is a tipping point yeah. for, for all of us. And it's, and also the property market is, again, the the property has been going up and up, and to a certain point it kind of plateau, yeah. right? So how how much you can go up the market? So yeah. people have a second thought. So I can see that's why uh, people kind of going back to think that oh maybe I should try my own stuff. <laughs> yeah, do a little ingenuity, right? Yes. A little bit of innovation, right? Yeah, because the opportunity cost, after all, is with, with the new latest technology, is not that high, you know, yeah. in terms of uh, startup investment. Mm. So I think a lot of people are going to look at this and they're going to say, okay, I can come to Hong Kong, it's a good entry to northern China, mm -hmm. or northern, northern Asia, and I'm thinking of China automatically. What are some things that people should know if they want to start up a business here and they want to use Hong Kong as that entryway into China? Well, I think it depends on, on the type of industry you're, you're doing. Yeah. And I think, you know, the, uh, the China overall now, uh, the, even the government is promoting uh, technology a lot. So, yeah. so that's a great thing because you, you got the macro view that everyone, you know, I was, I was uh, in Beijing just, just uh, the week uh, ago. And you, you can really kind of see, seeing everyone is doing startup, almost literally, you know, <laughs> everyone, you know, in the street. It's like the road, stall, road stalls of startups, basically. Yeah, so, so you can see that, yeah, China overall uh, is very competitive market, but, but at the same time, you know, if you have a uh, global view, you, you can be successful uh, within China, I think. Yeah, great. Well, we'll look to, we'll look to CyberPort as being one of the leaders of that. And thank you very much, David, for joining us. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank yeah. you. Great.